Ten things that happen to your body if you walk every day. The great Greek physician Hippocrates once said, walking is a man's best medicine. Well, he hit the nail right on the head with that one. Walking is totally free, easy, requires little effort, and benefits not only your physical, but also your mental well-being. We're about to get into that, and if you stick around till the end of the video, you'll find out what the FIT formula is and how it can help you out big time. Before you grab your sneakers and head out for your walk, subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications to keep up with all of our updates. 10. Brain Boosting Effect a study at the University of Kansas has revealed how low-impact aerobic exercises, like walking, prevent the early onset of dementia and reduce the risk of developing Alzheimer's disease. Over 35 million people around the world suffer from Alzheimer's, and sadly, it's only getting worse. Scientists predict that this number will double in the next 20 years. The good news is that people who are physically active throughout their life are much less prone to this disease than those who have a more sedentary lifestyle. And that's because they have more volume in their hippocampus, the part of the brain responsible for verbal memory and learning. Plus, walking improves your overall mental well-being by reducing stress and releasing endorphins. It stimulates not only the production of chemicals responsible for brain health, but also the growth and survival of neural blood vessels and cells. 9. Improved Eyesight Surprising, right? Moving your legs helps your eyes. How in the heck do they have anything to do with each other? Well, first off, walking can help fight glaucoma by relieving eye pressure. You see, glaucoma develops when too much fluid builds up in the eye, increasing the pressure inside. That pressure, in turn, affects the optic nerve, which results in visual impairment. The Glaucoma Research Foundation recommends walking as one of the best ways to reduce the risk of developing glaucoma and even relieve its symptoms. If you think you're way too young to start worrying about glaucoma, you should know that walking is good for eyesight in general. Both low and high intensity exercise strengthens and stimulates the visual cortex, that part of the brain that processes the images our eyes send to it. So get on the road to improved vision and protect your eyes now from potential problems in the future. 8. Prevention of Heart Disease you're probably well aware of the fact that running makes your heart stronger. But according to the American Heart Association, walking is no less effective than running when it comes to the prevention of heart disease and stroke. A daily half-hour walk helps avoid serious problems, like coronary heart disease to name one, by lowering high blood pressure and cholesterol levels and improving blood circulation. 7. Increased Lung Volume Walking is an aerobic exercise, which means that it increases oxygen flow in the bloodstream and helps eliminate toxins and waste. In short, it's great for your lungs. Because of better quality and deeper breathing, some symptoms associated with lung disease can show significant improvement. The stress and medication that lung disease brings with it weaken the immune system of those suffering from it. We all know that spending time outdoors is a great immunity booster, so why wouldn't you start walking every day? 6. Benefits for the Pancreas Believe it or not, walking for exercise is a surprisingly more effective way to prevent diabetes than running is. In a Duke University study, over a six-month trial period, a group of frequent walkers demonstrated a six times greater improvement in glucose tolerance, or blood sugar absorption, than a group of runners. More efficient use of blood sugar allows your pancreas to produce less insulin, giving it a much-needed rest to gather strength. 5. Improved Digestion just half an hour of walking every day not only lowers the risk of developing colon cancer, but also improves digestion and regulates bowel movements. Good news for those who suffer from chronic constipation. What's even better, walking helps the chances of surviving colon cancer even after it's already been diagnosed. This incredible fact was discovered in a study of over 150,000 men and women, where activity levels were compared with the number of those who got colon cancer and died of it. 4. Toned Muscles 
Muscle tone and weight loss is also totally achievable through simple walking. In fact, just 10,000 steps a day can be just as effective as a full-blown workout at the gym, especially if you add some intervals or uphill walking. Just remember to use correct form though. Keep your spine straight, bend your elbows at a 90-degree angle, swing your arms, and stabilize your pelvis. Find your optimal pace, but don't break out into a jog. This sort of speed walking is low impact and doesn't require any recovery time, which means no sore muscles to keep you from getting out and walking the next day. Thumbs up if that sounds like something you're game for. 3. Sturdier Bones and Joints Walking can provide more joint mobility, prevent the loss of bone density, and even reduce the risk of fractures. The Arthritis Foundation recommends at least 30 minutes of moderate walking a day to reduce pain, stiffness, and inflammation in the joints. Building strong bones will help you prevent osteoporosis and reduce bone loss. 2. Back Pain Relief Yet another ailment walking can cure is back pain. This is a real lifesaver for those who experience back pain during more challenging high-impact exercises. Since it's a low-impact activity, it won't cause more pain or discomfort like running or HIT would. Walking contributes to better blood circulation within the spinal structures, pumping important nutrients into the soft tissues and improving posture and flexibility, both of which are vital for a healthy spine. As you walk, you make your spine more stable and strengthen the muscles that keep your body upright. And hey, with better posture comes a few added inches to your height. Yes! My basketball career will finally take off! No? Fine. I can dream, can't I? 1. A Calmer Mind If mind and body are connected like they say, then this point is right at home on our list. The Journal of Psychiatric Research published the results of a study on 50 individuals suffering from major depression. It showed that walking 30 to 45 minutes a day, 5 days a week, improved their condition significantly. If walking improves depression symptoms in patients with MDD, just imagine how easily it could help us cope with just feeling down or exhausted. Another group of researchers at Iowa State University worked with hundreds of college students, and we all know how stressed this bunch is. Walking changed their mood for the better, even though no one warned them that it could do so. And a joyful walk with a friend or loved one will only enhance that happy effect and improve your mood even more. Bonus! The Fit Formula if you now can't wait to get out there and walk your you-know-what off, hold on for a sec because you shouldn't try to do too much right away. Keep in mind the FIT formula. It stands for frequency, how often, intensity, how fast, and time, for how long. When you want to level up, change one of those components at a time. Frequency. If, for whatever reasons, you can't go for a walk every single day, do it three to five times a week. If you can only handle a five-minute walk, start with that, but do it regularly and gradually add extra minutes to it. Just make it your routine. That's what really matters. Intensity Two to three miles an hour is a good average intensity. If that's too much for you, set your own optimal pace. A good rule to remember is that you should be able to talk while walking. If you start running out of breath and your heart beats like crazy, you're going too fast. Time 30 minutes a day should be your goal. You can also count steps to motivate yourself to keep going. A good amount to aim for is 6,000 steps a day. Again, if that's too much, you can get there gradually and start with what you can manage right now. If you still don't feel motivated enough to start walking for your health, try joining a class or find a buddy who also wouldn't mind getting the benefits of walking. Another idea could be to hire a personal trainer. The money you have to pay them is a great motivation for some people. Do you think walking is worth giving a shot? Or maybe you already do it and have success stories to share? We'd love to hear about it in the comments section below. If this video has helped you out at all, hit that like button and send it to all your friends. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so yet. Stay with us on the Bright Side of Life!